Let's focus on the new stadium for the Buffalo Bills. There is a new book out featuring a bit of a history lesson on how we got here. It's titled Nowhere Else You'd Rather Be 50 Years of Cherished Comebacks, Concerts and Classic Moments in Orchard Park. It covers not only the star athletes who have played at the stadium over the past five decades from Jim Kelly to Josh Allen, but also other sporting events like the first ever Winter Classic, plus rock shows and other major events. The 176 page book features photos and stories from the Buffalo News and joining us live tonight is Corey uh, Desiderio, content manager and editor of special sections at the newspaper and editor of this new book. Here it is. Um, thanks so much for coming in and you know, I I've lived in Western New York for a long time, but not a native here and I learned a ton about the history of this and that's kind of where I want to start, including the renderings that you got when when they were discussing building what is now a 50 year old stadium. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you having yeah. me. Um, as someone who was born in the 90s, I didn't know anything past, um, you know, in the 70s and, and 80s when they were sort of discussing this. So it really is a true history, you know, lesson dating back 50 years ago this year from when they moved from War Memorial Stadium in downtown Buffalo um, out to uh, Rich Stadium in OP. Yeah, those pictures, I mean, you can see what, what our viewers are seeing there. I mean, a lot of people probably never seen this stuff. Yeah, this is, um, it took about three months of searching through the archives of the Buffalo News, both print um, and we have some uh, digital archives too. So, you know, we pulled everything that, you know, may have not even appeared in the paper um, and we're documenting in this book here. Yeah, I love it. Uh, the name of this stadium has, of course, changed a lot over the years. Uh, Rich Stadium, Ralph Wilson Stadium, New Era Field, then back to just Bill Stadium for a while, now, now Highmark Stadium. Um, and for a lot of people, the, some of the best memories there were during the Super Bowl era, right? You get into a lot here about the the Bills storied history at the stadium. Absolutely. Um, we used um, some stories from Mark Gaughan and Jay Skirsky. They helped and contributed to this project. Um, they really combined um, and talked talked us through the eras of the Bills um, history, those mm -hmm. five decades, um, how they sort of intertwine, how um, decisions made by the front office in the later years of the 80s contributed to those glory years of the 90s. So um, it's not just photos um, and archive content, but it is a storyline that sort of connects all um, the past 50 years up until today. Yeah, even some stats in there. It was interesting to see how Jim Kelly performed at that stadium versus Josh Allen and, and a bunch of different stuff. Um, also, I mean, we think of a football stadium as being a place where you watch football games, right? But, mm -hmm. you know, the stadium has been a lot more than that. And we've recently seen just in the past, I don't know, decade or so, like these big outdoor or concerts coming back, but that used to happen back in the day as well. I mean, we'll show some more pictures here. Walk us through the, the non NFL games that have happened here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the big one is the Winter Classic, yeah. um, the first ever outdoor game um, in the U.S. Um, and obviously a few years ago was the uh, World Juniors game between the U.S. and Canada. Um, but then in addition to that, like you said, the concerts dating back to the first year was open um, and there was a run of um, a couple years where the Grateful Dead played every 4th of July. I've heard a lot about um, those types of shows. So, um, you know, there's a lot of stories of uh, the Rolling Stones who've played there five times and even the Who have been there as well. So yeah. um, a lot more than just uh, football history at the stadium. We showed the picture there when the, the Who was there uh, so many decades ago. I saw, um, oh shoot, what's his name? Not, uh, not the Piano Man, who's the other one? No, Piano Man, what's his? Billy Joel, thank Billy you. Joel. <laughs> That's terrible. I saw Billy Joel there. Great concert. I uh, couldn't think of his name. Um, finally, you kind of end with, as we're ending this 50 year chapter, moving on to the next, right? And what's going to happen across the street? Yeah, for sure. Um, the last chapter of the book is all about the new stadium that's going to be um, opening up in 2026, right across the street. Um, and the last, uh, one of the last photos in the book is from that June groundbreaking ceremony. So it really does tie in um, from when they moved there 50 years ago up until, um, you know, the happenings just. Yeah. Um, last couple months. Yeah, and there is, um, again, there's a look at the cover of the book. It's on sale right now. That's the long sort of URL, but it's buffalonewsstore.com, and then you scroll down just a little bit, and you can see it there um, if you want to purchase. Uh, and then you, you were saying it showed up on Barnes & Noble, too. It did, right? yeah. So it's another option. I saw a Facebook post um, last week sort of as a surprise to us, um, yeah. and uh, my mom checked out our local Barnes & Noble uh, last week, so... Um, you can get it in person, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Uh, Corey Desiderio with the Buffalo News, editor of this new book, uh, Nowhere Else You'd Rather Be. Uh, it's, it's great stuff. I learned a lot. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate, appreciate you it. having me.